Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. So we all know that many of the very popular Instagram kind of makeup techniques come from the drag scene and the theater world and places like that. But one area of makeup that I feel like is very often overlooked or its influence is kind of underestimated is black metal. Some amazing things are happening in black metal and we owe a lot of really awesome makeup techniques to these guys pioneers in the makeup world. I feel like there is some very beautiful contouring and highlighting going on. Um, very heavy, I have to admit. But I mean, then again, heavy contour and highlight is all the rage right now, so why not? Today I'm going to show you four true beauty beacons of black metal. Guys that have really paved the way for, you know, makeup lovers all over the world. Let's begin with the first one, who is going to be Abbot Doom Occulta. He is the former guitarist and vocalist of Norwegian band Immortal and he has, I feel, one of the most iconic corpse paint looks in the black metal scene. A look that is very much tied in with some awesome dance moves. If you are wearing this makeup, you are obliged to do the crab walk and the gyrating pelvis dance. So to do Abbott's makeup, I am going to start by painting a white triangle on my forehead then one on the lower part of my face as well. Fill in the blanks with black, make sure this is nice and tidy. And then of course you've got to have your angry slash sad mouth. If you want to complete this look, you can always extend everything towards the neck. So um, again, just paint it in with white and then go into these little points with black again and then fade it out. So the second beauty beacon of today is going to be Frost of the Norwegian band Satyricon. He is the drummer and he is generally seen as one of the best and fastest drummers in the scene. He also studies mathematics. He does not always perform in this corpse paint, but his corpse paint is one of the most unique ones and I definitely felt like it had to be included in this video. So uh, in order to do this, you're going to again start with a white base. Just go all over and then you're going to draw in these um, little veiny bits and make the eyes. And for this, I would recommend you to look at a picture for reference to be able to ensure you make everything perfect. So the third beauty beacon of today is Nergal, who is the frontman and main composer of the Polish band Behemoth. I hereby officially dub him the King of the Smoky Eye. This is a gorgeous smoky eye, guys, and I can definitely see myself wearing this on a night out, a fancy dinner, uh, a movie premiere, who knows? It is absolutely gorgeous. And to do this, you're going to once again start with a white base. This is very important. I mean, you can use this in other makeup, um, and other fields of makeup as well. It's always good to start with a white base to kind of even out your skin tone, you know? Start with a white base and then we're going to work on these smoky eyes. So start by really focusing um, the blackest black on the eyes, just in a kind of circle, and then start blending this outwards towards your temples. This creates that beautiful kind of um, wind tunnel face, you know, like uh, Tyra Banks says. Absolutely gorgeous. This is flattering for every face shape. Anyone can wear this. So the fourth and last beauty beacon of today is going to be Einar Selvig, who now makes beautiful folk music with his band Varduna. You may know them if you watch the show Vikings, they make a lot of music for that. But he was formerly the drummer for the Norwegian band Gorgoroth, and he was known on his stage name Kvitrafen. When he's not making music, he works in a nursery. And I also feel like he has a very beautiful corpse paint going on. Again, lots of contouring. And I feel like he has this very unique kind of chin um, thing going on, which is very beautiful. I also think this is flattering for many people and also very applicable to many different occasions. So to make this, I'm going to start once again with a white base. You know the drill by now, always start your makeup with a white base. And then I'm going in with the black. And I'm going to fill in my eye shape. And once again, this is one of those 
um, cases where you just want to look at a picture for reference to make sure you get everything perfect. So I just try to like replicate the shape and then go in with a smaller brush and just draw in your lines and the chin thing and yeah, then marvel at your beauty! So I really hope I've kind of shown you um, the beauty of black metal makeup techniques and I think I'm just gonna end the video here so I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you have any other beauty icons that you would like me to recreate the looks of, leave them down in the comments below and I will look through and pick someone up for next week. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye! Quit, quit, Raffen. I can't